All right, what's up friends? It's Harrison here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about what to bring when you're going for top surgery. So I am Canadian, I'm from Toronto and I had my surgery in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Dr. Garamoni, so I had to fly. So there was a few things that I brought from home and then there was a few things that I bought while I was there. So that's like the good thing that you have to realize is don't be too stressed out. If you don't have something when you get there, you have a lot of time to go get it or you have somebody that can go get it for you you're gonna be sleeping for the majority of the time so you're not gonna be missing it too much you don't have to worry about the pills you don't have to worry about any painkillers or anything like that because you're gonna get that from your doctor that's the most important thing so don't stress about this just do what you can do your best bring what you can and then you'll adapt it's not a big deal I think that's a thing that I wanted to hear. It was because I was really stressed. I was like, oh my gosh, what if I forget this? So what if you do, you go out and get one. Surgery is surgery. It's a scary thing, but honestly, I was so nervous about it and it really wasn't that bad for me, personal experience. But yeah, so let's just dive right into the list. I'll talk about it and then see what is the most important. So something that lots of people talk about and something that I was like, oh man, I'm gonna need this is a neck pillow. I really only used a neck pillow when I was driving and I only drove from the surgery and then to my post-op appointment. Other than that, I didn't do any driving. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of driving, make sure you get one. And don't get one of the ones that are just like that. Get one of the ones that have the high sides. I'll show you a picture of my one. Um, and then another important thing that I'm glad I had uh, is a pill separator. So you're gonna be getting your pills from your doctor. You're gonna have a checklist from your doctor well, I went to Dr. Garamoni. I'm assuming that most doctors are going to give you a checklist of the most important things. So you make sure that you get them. Like they're gonna tell you you need laxatives. They're gonna tell you you have to get these pills and this prescription filled. So don't worry about that. They're gonna take care of that for you. So you don't have to remember all that. But yeah, so to go along with that, you get a pill separator. So that's what I got. I got a six, seven day pill separator with four different compartments. And it was really good to make sure that I knew what I was taking. And it was good for my caregiver to know what she was giving me and what I had already had. So I definitely would recommend that. The thing that I think was the most important that I couldn't live without is one of those big reader pillows with like the big cushy back and then those cushy arm things. That was so crucial for me. I would sleep on that and I bought that while I was in Florida because I wasn't gonna bring that on the plane. But yeah, I would sleep on that. I'd put a few more back pillows behind it when I wanted to watch TV. It was great and I would really, really, really recommend one of those. And then another thing that I thought that I would need more, but you really don't need a lot of them, are button-up shirts. I really didn't leave my apartment or my Airbnb while I was there. You're knocked out and you don't really want to walk around. It's just uncomfortable. So what I did was just, I brought three button ups, but honestly, I could have gotten away with one. I would only wear it if I was walking around outside. And if I was in my uh, Airbnb, I would just take it off and I'd just walk around with my bandages because you don't need to put a t-shirt on when you're walking around your own apartment. But if you are squeamish with the drains, maybe you do wanna always wear it to cover yourself. So just bring a couple button up shirts. Make sure they're a little bit bigger than what you would normally get. So I'm a small, I got medium. Another important thing are baby wipes. You're gonna be pretty stinky. You're gonna be pretty, pretty smelly and you're not gonna be able to shower. So I got baby wipes and my friend had to wipe me down every so often. And it's just gonna, it's just gonna make you feel a little bit more clean. You're gonna feel dirty, you're gonna feel gross no matter what, but if there's anything that you can do to make it feel just like a little less dirty, get baby wipes or any kind of wipe like that. And then to go on with another thing like cleanliness, get spray on deodorant, it's good. Uh, doing the stick, uh, apparently, like you have to really stretch. You're not gonna be able to move that much. So get, get the spray on, cause all you have to do is go like that and then and then dry shampoo. I'm not sure how much I used of that. I really didn't even try. Uh, but if you want to, uh, get some dry shampoo or just bring some hats so that you can put over your head. Compression socks, big one. So you're gonna need those. Like that's an absolute necessity. You're gonna need those after you have surgery. So go out and grab one. I only had one pair and I did fine with it. You're gonna need boxers. You're gonna need your underwear. Um, that's a given, but I thought that I'd 
make that a checklist. Oh, this one's actually really, really important. I'm glad that I saw somebody talk about this. An extra ACE bandage. So when you're done with your surgery, if you have Dr. Garamoni, and I'm sure a lot of other surgeons do, do this, they wrap you up in an ACE bandage that you cannot remove for six days or seven days, whatever your post-op thing is. Uh, or even five, um, but you're not allowed to move that, you're not allowed to remove it, and then they remove it for you after your last appointment, after your post-op appointment, and then they say, okay, yeah, you can be without it for a few hours and then put it back on. Actually, I drew the short stick on that and I had to have the ACE bandage put right back on because I had a lot of swelling, which sucked. I didn't even get a few hours of peace without that, but I was able to bring a new one in because that one that you're wearing for six days straight is going to get really, really smelly, going to get really sweaty, going to get just kind of gross. And it just feels a lot better to have a fresh one after that. So bring an extra ACE bandage for your post-op appointment. And then another thing while you're in surgery, while you're recovering, uh, you're going to want bendy straws. I know everyone's like, oh, plastic straws. They're so bad get plastic straws or get a straw. Like I liked having the bendy straw so that I, I didn't have to like raise a cup to me cause that would have hurt. So I got the bendy straw, you just, <laughs> that probably looks so stupid. Um, and then lots of people say like gauze and surgical tape. I really didn't use it. You might want to get maybe a couple things of gauze but don't get too wrapped up in it, LOL pun intended, because I really didn't use it. Like the odd time when my friend was was emptying my drains out, the odd time she would wipe it up with, with gauze, but it was very little. Um, and then when you're doing that, you should get some plastic gloves or some, some gloves, some rubber gloves that you have to make sure that you're keeping everything clean when somebody's doing the drains for you. So get plastic gloves. But the thing that's more important than the gauze are actually big bandages. So this is after you have the surgery, after you have your post-op appointment, you're gonna be told to cover your nipples. So make sure you have bandages that are the square bandages that are like this big, like, I don't know, like square bandages like that. So you're just gonna place it over top of your nipples and it's just easy like that. But sometimes I found that those were too long and would go onto my, my, uh, my scars. So then when I would take them off, it would kind of hurt. So I got these bandages that were like shaped like this and I would put them over my nipples like this and they wouldn't be low enough to touch my scars. So I would suggest getting the bandages that are like that big. Oh yeah, another thing while you're recovering, have books and like a Kindle or an iPad and movies so that you can have something to do. So get an iPad, get a Kindle if you want and get a few good books because everybody watches TV. Train your brain a little bit and read some books while you're recovering. You'll have the time to do that. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like it has been six months. I should have maybe written down it fresh, but I feel like that's what has stuck in my mind the most. Um, you're gonna get a list of things from your doctor, like I said, and like I got laxative, I got um, like anti-itch stuff. I didn't use any of it, which maybe that's just like the, the luck of the draw, I guess. Like I didn't need any of it. Like. I could go to the bathroom fine and I wasn't too, too itchy. So they do tell you to get that, get it just in case. I'm glad that I had it. It's so easy to get all this stuff. All you have to do is find like a target near you or a pharmacy near you and you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope this helped. If it did, give it a big thumbs up. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Take care.